round. Okay, we all agree on round? It should be round. If I wish to elongate bo, to make it bo, because the wow sakina, if it has, wow sakina means wow with sukun, if it has a dhamma before it, it's not a regional letter. It's only there to extend something. And we also have to extend the formation. Does that all make sense? Right? So we say bu. If we say o and we extend the o, it will become o. Say o. Now, there's the o and we add wow. There's the dhamma. A. Say a. O. A o. Right. Now we come to the next letter. This is Val with Dhamma. Say Dhu. Right. Now we must be very, very careful not in this case to do this. And I, I need you to watch watch lips carefully. Okay. To not go. It's easy when we're starting because we can break off from a neutral position and go into the position of the Dhamma. So we go with Dhu. But in this case we can't actually do that. We got to say Dhu. Because if I do this, now watch very, very carefully at my lips. I'll do it there again. A, aru, zu. In between aru and zu, what did I do? I went to? I went to neutral. Okay? Right. And we know neutral means that there's sukun. Okay? Because remember, the Quran was not written with these. It came from how the formation of the lips were. Um, A, aru, zu. Do we, do we see that? So I inserted an extra sukun. If we look at the writing, we know that this piece should be open. We know this piece should be a circling or rounded round lips. A circling of the lips. And we know that this is an original. So this also has to be what, what position? The position of? Like bu? Bu. Because we're, all we're doing is we're elongating it. Make sense? Okay. So over here, this is secondary, and it follows through with the circling. So, is that spelled right? Circling. It's fine. Okay, and here we have this formation should be also circling. Right, circling of the lips. So we have a. Oh, who, who, circle, circle, circle. If I do this, if I say aru, zu, it means somewhere in between that piece over there. I've added an extra sukun. Does this make sense to everybody? Based on what we learned in the last lesson, in terms of where these letters, where the where the fatha kasra dhamma comes on. So all we should be seeing is open mouth, circle, circle, circle. Not open mouth, circle, circle, neutral, circle. If I put neutral, it means I changed the wording there, I added a sukun. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay, it's fine. So let us say this piece together. A'udhu. 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 Okay, let's try for the ayin. A'udhu. Right, and break it up. A, ru, zu. Say, a, a, wait everybody. A, 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 ru, zu. A, ru, zu. A, ru, zu. Right, and remember the definition of a good recite is you can say a on its own and a when it comes with the next letters. So, what we try and avoid is saying a, zu. Must be a. A'udhu 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 Very good A'udhu Right Now I'm not exactly going to continue with the rest of Al-Isti'a But I will uh, In terms of the, the analysis Let's just say Billahi Billahi Right Billahi A'udhu Billahi Mean a shay, smile. Mean a shay. Tawn your rojim. Mean a shay, tawn your rojim. 
من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم Okay, we're going to break up the list of it to get the ra there also correct and things like that. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Last thing I want to quickly go over is the Hamza, the letter Hamza itself. Do we see this letter? This letter has got the sound a e o. This letter, you can write this down, right? This is called Hamza. Hamza. Hamza to qat an. Hamza, that's an ayn. So let's just put the ayn there. Hamza to qat. Right? Hamza to qat. This is Hamza to qat. There's two Hamzas. Especially in the script we're going to be using in this class, you can learn how to identify these two Hamzas. This is Hamza to wasl. This is Hamza al Wasl. This can appear above this and above that. If you look at Surah Al Fatiha quickly, everybody got this page? Look at this quickly. Look at this. Okay. I want you to look at Ar Rahman. Look at the word Ar Rahman. The first word below this we have Bismi, Allah, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. Just look at the word Ar Rahman. Are we all there? First line Ar Rahman. Do you see the Do you see that the the, the little thing on the Alif? In Ar Rahman. Is it the first Hamza or this Hamza? It's the second Hamza, right? So the second one is called Hamza, Hamza al Wasl. This one, you know it, A-E-U. It's always pronounced. For now, just remember, always, what's it? Always pronounced. This one, it's pronounced only if starting. Pronounced if starting. I will teach insha'Allah in the next lesson how do we decide what to start with. Now if you look, we don't pronounce it when it's in continuum. So you say Bismillahi. When you know we recite Bismillah, look at the, at the text and, and just see Bismillahir Rahman. What do we do? We recite Bismillahi Allahi. Right? And then we have Hamza al and then this is kept for a different reason. Because if we join this with Hamza to Wasl, you skip Hamza to Wasl and you go to whatever is afterwards. Only if I'm starting, I say Ar Rahman. But when I'm reading in continuum, joining the letters before that, I skip Hamza to Wasl. How do you remember this? If you look at this, Qat, this is the word Qat, right? This here, the last letter, is the letter Ain. And if you look at the Hamza, it's got the head of the Ayn. Now, Qata means to cut. So we cut the, in, in terms of the joining procedure. The last thing there, inshallah, I will conclude on this, is al wasl Do you see what's this here? This is the letter. What is the letter? Sword. And Hamza al wasl Wasl means joining. Wasl al-Qul, we will talk more about this insha'Allah. And that is the head of the, the head of the Sa'ad. Okay, homework is identify four of this in here. Practice a'udhu. Um, become comfortable with the mouth formations insha'Allah. Any questions? No questions? No questions? None? Okay, sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina wa mustafa muhammadi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yawsifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Shukran, we'll see everybody on Tuesday.